talking about the disruptive innovations, I, I would not like to talk about new technologies or products. I think we should talk about patients. Because what I see at the moment is that we more and more um, meet patients that want their voice to be listened to. And I think this is probably the biggest potential that we have is listening to the patients and their families to be able to learn from them how we can improve care to really better meet their needs. We have seen tremendous improvement in treatment. We have seen tremendous improvement also in survival. But all these people have to live with and after this cancer disease. And what we have to develop now is new models of care that allow us to better accompany patients, support patients, educate patients, but also listen to patients that they learn to live with and after cancer disease. And this includes not only the patient, but a whole family system or a system of close relatives. When we think about the models of care, what we are trying to develop at the moment uh, in my own setting, with a group of nurse researchers, but together with oncologists and people uh, from the industry that develop electronic patient reported outcome systems. We try to use electronic patient reported outcome systems to be better informed about the needs of patients to then respond with a new model of care to their needs. On the same hand, what we try to do is develop new education uh, support for clinicians, because if we want to better support patients, we probably also have to change the behavior within clinical practice. And this is something that I only can recommend to all people that develop innovations in the area of cancer care, uh, including the industry, is to not only focus on the product, but to focus on the patient and a uh, patient during his whole cancer trajectory. And this includes patients that we can care for and maybe even cure, but there are a lot of patients that cannot be cured, that have to live with a long-term disease or that will die. And they have the same right to have extensive discussions on the best care they, they should receive as a patient that is discussed in the tumor board to receive the best treatment. So an industry that will allow uh, the cancer population, including their families, um, in a more sustainable way to live with their cancer disease and not only focusing on the return on investment that they get on their product, but to focus on a sustainable gain for the whole society. So to listen to the needs of patient and to engage patient in um, the, the development of uh, innovations uh, in cancer care or cancer prevention, uh, I think we have very good examples uh, in other countries. In Switzerland, I think we are a little bit behind uh, the evolution that we see, for instance, in the UK uh, or in Canada, where you have patients counseling not only the way we, we care for, for them, but also being involved in the development of new trials. And I think industry could make a very strong uh, uh, case also in Switzerland in providing better models, how we can collaborate uh, with patients where they are not only receiving new treatments or in, uh, testing new in interventions, but where they are involved in the development of these new products. Uh, that have gone through such a, uh, um, an experience, uh, but of course uh, it, it, it needs or for the 